everybody. It is currently about 5.04 in the morning. And uh, let me show you guys what, uh, what, what my breakfast consists of here. Um, really, uh, kind of as I started doing it, uh, really pretty much, pretty much a game changer. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of the Bulletproof Coffee kind of a deal. Um, you know, basically, that's what, you know, I, since I've been doing this morning fasting, I, I, I have this coffee and I fast until about, uh, about 11 or 12. It's really changed my, uh, my mental clarity and uh, everything. Um, and I add a couple extra things. Well, uh, slightly different recipe, but right here, this is the, uh, the Brain Octane, which, um, is basically like the MCT oil. This is great MCT oil right here that I rec highly recommend, especially when you first start doing it. This Brain Octane is, uh, like MC, is like, Taking they, they take regular coconut oil and refine it to make MCT oil, and then they refine the MCT oil to make the, uh, the brain octane. And if you're not used to this stuff, it can be a little, a little rough on the stomach. One of the extra things I put in mine is a little bit of cacao. Usually about a tablespoon of cacao powder in there. Um, and again, I don't want any, uh, any carbohydrates really. So then my only other one is, uh, this right here is turmeric and ginger mix. Uh, just makes it really, really easy. And this tastes great in the coffee. Again, no carbohydrates in this mix, just straight turmeric and ginger, as you can see. So, cow, turmeric, ginger, MCT oil, or, or uh, bulletproof oil, monk's fruit right here, which, uh, again, uh, zero carbohydrates, uh, zero glycemic reaction basically a one-to-one -one replacement of sugar. So I'll put that in. And just for good measure, I'll throw in a couple, not that one. I'll throw in a couple drops of uh, stevia. So I feel like they go good together. Um, too much stevia, it tastes kind of funny. Just, and too much most fruit tastes kind of funny, but you can get it sweeter with a mix of the both. And then, of course, Harry Gold brand uh, organic grass fed butter. So, uh, I don't even measure it, I just kind of eyeball my butter paper. I'm actually making some for me and some for Brittany. So I'm putting a little bit more than uh, standard coffee. Plus, you can see how big my coffee cup is here. So you know what I mean. Here's my morning coffee.
why you have to blend it to, uh, you know, the butter needs to get blended in in order for it to really unlock the polyphenols from the coffee and, as opposed to just floating on top of the coffee. Um, and as some of you probably know, coffee is the Western diet's number one source of polyphenol. Which is phenomenal for overall health and mitochondria density. Um, and you know, just when you blend it, especially when you put the uh, cacao in there and the, the turmeric and ginger, it just makes it just nice and sweet and creamy and rich. And you can see it's got this nice frothy coffee head on top. And it's just, it is truly an incredible cup of coffee. And just a phenomenal thing to wake up to. Never get tired of it. I really don't. Um, bigger, leaner, more mental clarity than, uh, than ever since I started doing this quite some time ago. Uh, I, f I have more energy during the day. I would say that the, the only thing is, it, it did take me a little while to get used to uh, either one of these products. See, the, the, uh, the, they can be a little hard on your stomach at first. When you're used to having carbohydrates for breakfast, and instead you're having oil. It takes to the same you're used to. But uh, Chris Levin, and that's my, uh, this is my morning breakfast routine. Let's have a good one. Like everything's gone Everything